We made it. This is the last video. This is the sixth grade oceans, atmosphere, and climate. Lesson seven, part three, the final video of this unit. In this final video, we are going to actually explain through an email to the New Zealand Farm Council what is going on with the air temperature in Christchurch during El Nino years. So what are you going to need for this lesson? You're going to need something to write on, something to write with. You might even want to type up your email. That might be something you can kind of like copy and paste stuff and go back and change it. Or if you prefer to write something out, that's fine. Or you could just pull in a parent from somewhere in your house or a brother or sister, some family member that's hanging around your house with you or call a friend and just say, hey, I'm going to explain to you what I would tell Kitty Parada and explain to them what you've learned in this unit about why the air temperature in Christchurch is changing during El Nino years. So here's our claim. Our claim is that the air temperature is cooler during El Nino years because ocean currents and prevailing winds change. So scientists have to investigate in order to figure things out. So do you think you're there? Have you figured out why the air temperature in Christchurch is cooler in El Nino years? So this is the claim that we figured out. So how could we write a letter to uh, Kitty Parada? So in our letter, we're going to want to explain how energy is transferred from a warm ocean current to the air during normal years, and how during El Nino years, the ocean current isn't as warm as it normally is because the prevailing winds which cause the current have slowed down or reversed. Okay, so let's do this. Here is an example email that I took all of the things that you figured out and typed it up so that we can send it to Kitty Parada. But before you read the email or listen to me read it to you, I want you to pause the video and take a moment to either say out loud or to tell someone else everything that you would include in an email to the New Zealand Farm Council and then come back and compare what you said or wrote to what I have typed up on this page for us to read together. Okay, let's read this email together. Dear Kitty Parada and the entire New Zealand Farm Council, I'm excited to share with you what the student climatologists have discovered about why Christchurch New Zealand's air temperature is cooler during El Nino years. During El Nino years, the prevailing winds at the equator slow down. Since these winds are responsible for pushing surface ocean currents at the equator towards Christchurch, if the winds slow down, that means that the ocean currents traveling towards Christchurch also slow down. Ocean currents carry energy transferred from the sun, but currents don't carry that energy as far if they're moving more slowly. Since Christchurch is south of the equator, that means there won't be as much energy brought to this location by the slow current. The air temperature of Christchurch is determined by how much energy is in the air. Because energy is transferred from the ocean to the air, the air temperature in Christchurch is affected by the temperature of the ocean. In El Nino years, the ocean near Christchurch is cooler because the slower current is bringing less energy from the equator. So less energy will be transferred from the ocean to the air above it making the air temperature of Christchurch a little cooler than it is in years without an El Nino effect. Sincerely, student climatologists. I'm so excited to have been on this journey with you, student climatologists. I have been delighted to discover along with you the different pieces of evidence that we used to write this letter. And I know that the New Zealand Farm Council will be excited to read your response and help them understand why the air is so cold. And they'll start to be able to figure out ways that they can solve problems around their farm when the air temperature is colder. Thank you so much for helping the farmers in New Zealand solve this problem. You've been great.